What's up, guys? Dom Tromboli here from Refinance. And today we have got some massive, massive news. There is finally a fixed rate that's surfaced that is worth your time. Now, we've been waiting a long time for this to happen. We've been pushing a lot of variable rates, but I think this is finally one to take note of. Now, it's important to know I'm just going to be going over the data, going over what's available, giving my opinion. This is not financial advice. Feel free to take it on face value. It could be something you disagree with, but it also could be something that saves you guys a lot of money. So let's start with what happened two days ago. RBA meeting, cash rate lifted by 50 basis points to 1.85%. This was completely expected. Some were mentioning 75 basis points, but it went by 50. Now, what does this mean for you at home? If you're a homeowner, you could expect the market variable rate to refinance or to get a get a new loan to be about 3.8, 3.9. Probably the lowest would be about 3.8. Now, if you already have a home and you do nothing about it, your rate's probably going to get to about 4.2 to 4.3% because you're always going to have a little bit of, we call it bank loyalty tax on your mortgage. Now, what is expected to happen going forward? So we can see the cash rate sits at 1.85%, but there's talks of it hitting 3 to 3.5%. Most experts are saying 3% or 3.5%. Some are even going beyond that. I think it's prudent to maybe go with around 3.5%. So what that means is we can expect maybe another 1.7% on the mortgage, which brings the market variable to around the 5.5% mark in some time. Of course, a few assumptions there, but we are going with what the experts are saying. Um, now, let's talk about what has just happened. CBA of all people, not usually a bank to kind of lead the market in anything, being the, the largest lender out there. Um, they tend to focus on quality of service, net bank, and they're a fantastic bank to deal with, but they have just come and pretty much rock things in our in our brokerage here. So let's talk about what they've offered. Now, they've come out with a four-year fixed rate at 4.99%, um, a 1.6% discount on what they were previously offering. Um, so that is pretty massive to have a four-year fixed rate below that 5% mark. And of course, a few months ago, six months ago, nine months ago, you'd be looking at something like this and thinking, you know, what's so special about that? Um, but the context of where the market's going and what we can expect makes this a bit of an outlier. Um, and if we go down, they talk about um, the deal starting on, I think it was the Friday. Um, okay. Where was it? Yep. So there's just some terms and conditions here. Rate lock fee of 750. We'll get to this. Um, the minimum loan amount I'm sure is listed here as well. That's something we'll definitely um, put down in the description for you guys because I'm just going through this for the first time given how kind of big of a deal it is. Um, so yeah, this takes effect on, I believe it was the 5th of August, but we'll confirm that again in writing. Yep, 5th, Friday the 5th of August for a limited time. Now I've spoke to um, a BDM from CBA. Um, we're listed as elite status, so one of their higher ranked brokers or their highest ranked. And he's told me that this is actually something that's going to be around for a limited time. Usually we see this type of stuff and we're thinking, oh yeah, they're going to have it for two months and extend it. He's told me that it's most likely going to be a limited time. Um, it's also unknown whether other banks will pop up and combat this deal. But for now, this is the information we have. So let's understand what 4.99% means over four years. And I've um, made a bit of a spreadsheet here, which um, should give you guys a bit of a run through. So firstly, let's understand that CBA, they're offering 4.99%. Um, this is in yellow. Now the variable competitors, I've put in blue, the current cash rate, as we've spoken about, is 1.85%. Um, the expected cash rate, we're saying about 3.5%. Um, and of course, it's going to mean peak interest rates of around the 55 to 6% mark. Of course, this is an assumption, but we are going on what most of the news outlets and experts are saying. So let's look at this over a four-year period. And I think that is the best way to look at this rate. You have to compare, compare it over a four-year period because otherwise there's just too many, too much volatility, too many assumptions to be made. So 
you know, it's likely you'll get onto this rate for your first repayment around October. It's August now. It's going to take two months. Well, it's going to take one month, but then another month after that for your first repayment. So you're pretty much just going to have 4.99 for, and we've done it in quarters here, for 16 quarters, which is four years. Now, what is the market doing? So variable competitors right now, it's um, sitting at about the 3.8% mark. By October in two months, they're expecting more RBA increases. So we, we can say 4.5% is probably prudent. Um, and then quarter by quarter, we can see it going up from 4.75% to 5.25% and 5.5% and then hitting a peak of around 5.75%. Um, the assumption is it could stay like this for a little while before naturally going down rapidly as you know things always come in like a roller coaster motion and then you know this is when rates will kind of get back to normality and also get down to maybe where they were a few years back um of course the two assumption is is this the peak and also will it take this long to come back down that is what we call the unknown so please do not take this as 100 fact this is just kind of an outlook um, or a prospectus based on what we're hearing if something like this does come to fruition, though, you can see that maybe for one or two, three, four, five quarters, you'd be losing out marginally. But for the vast majority of this four-year period, you should be ahead. Um, and this is kind of where you're going to be saving the money on interest should this eventuate. The other part of it is the certainty of what you're going to be paying. Um, most people want to know what their repayments will be over a sustained period. It's kind of bringing anxiety and um, uncertainty, not knowing what your repayments are going to be every month, because that's where we're sitting. Um, it's going up and no one knows what their mortgage repayment is going to be. How are you going to budget for that? If you've got children, going to high school, everything else is getting more more expensive, your groceries, um, you know, car, it, just all your expenses. So for someone that wants to know what their repayments will look like for four years, they want to hedge their bets with you know, something that seems much better than anything that's out there, this could really be the deal for you. Um, now, what we're going to do here at our brokerage, because we are going to expect that CBA will have this for a limited time, and then they're going to go back to their normal fixed rates. And the danger there is that, let's say we lodge this on, you know, in two weeks, then the week after CBA cancel this deal, there could be a likelihood that any deals in the system will then take their new rate. And we, of course, don't want that. So there's something called a rate lock. And we'll go back to that. And what that does is it actually guarantees um, the rate on lodgement. So you can see here their rate lock is $750. And what this does is it pretty much locks the rate for 90 days despite what happens. So if CBA pulled a plug on the deal and increased the four-year fixed rate to 6%, you don't have to worry. Um, that $750 will cover you with any market volatility. And it's hard to say whether there will or there won't be, but from, you know, right now, the only thing for certain is uncertainty. So any certainty is probably something that might be a great idea. Now, our brokerage is going to cover either all of this or half of this, depending on your loan amount. So that's going to effectively come from how we get paid um, and that is just going to be something to incentivize you guys to jump onto this. Um, and yeah, ultimately it's, it alleviates the kind of cost involved in this for you guys. And, um, you know, it could just be a really, really smart move for the next, um, for the next couple of years. Um, now it's still early on this one. So I'll have to confirm whether CBA's cashback is, um, is available on this. I can't see why it wouldn't be. And I believe it's $2,000 at the moment. So again, that is um, another another benefit for, for moving on this. So that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to get this out really quickly. Um, it's a limited time. Um, just remember, there's a lot of assumptions being made here. I don't want this video to come across like, um, hey, this is what's going to happen, or this is absolutely the best thing that you should do. I just want to give Give a give an angle here because we have lots of clients asking us every day. Um, you know, I want certainty of my rate. I want a good fixed rate. And look, this really could be um a great option for you. And with the help of our brokerage, um, you can actually apply through us. We'll lodge with CBA. We get super quick turnaround times with them, 
and you'll also get the benefit of the rate lock, which you know is a seven hundred and fifty dollars saving for some. So thanks a lot, guys. Hopefully that video was pretty informative. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, you know, understand that this this is only an hour um old for me. I'm just trying to get this out there very quickly. Um, and hopefully this is just a viable option that can save you guys some money. All the best, and we'll catch you guys later.